Pedro Fernandez can capture a bird's soul in pencil, paper, and paint. He is designing a new poster for the Nest Watch Citizen Science Project, happy to be applying his talent to a favorite subject. Yeah, I think I always, always like birds. My mom, sometimes when she wants to embarrass me, she tells this, this little story of uh, when I was a young kid and I wanted to be a condor when I grew up. The Nest Watch poster will feature more than two dozen kinds of birds, all of them common species that tend to nest near humans. Pedro researches every detail to capture nuances of color, feather pattern, and posture to make his two-dimensional birds more lifelike. He sketches wild birds seen from the lab's observatory. He refers to scientific accounts and photographs. He examines stuffed birds in the Cornell University Museum of Vertebrates collection, which is housed right here at the lab. It, it gives me the accuracy. It gives me notion for fine detail. It gives you the chance of just having the bird in your hand and just rotating it. I get the fine details of the bill, some of the some of the, the pattern. Nests and open wings in the collection help Pedro focus on other elements he'll need for the poster. Wrens, 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 Carolina wrens, just Carolina wrens, here we go. How's wren? And this is really, really handy. The first step in the actual design of the poster is to sketch the entire layout. Which birds will go where? What will they be doing? Pedro's birds are building nests, courting, raising chicks, even trying to outwit a predatory cowbird. Basically, this is how it begins. And I kind of try to think a bit, like, you know, size-wise, how much will each of them occupy in the, mm -hmm. in the, in the poster. These scribbles, as Pedro calls them, are enlarged, refined, and colored in as part of a sweeping panorama. Pedro was creating each bird separately. He begins with a simple pencil sketch. Lab ornithologists review each drawing for accuracy, a process Pedro says is priceless. We try to correct every little thing, you know, bill size, corrections, necks, and everything, so it goes back and forth for a while. When everyone agrees the sketch is scientifically accurate, Pedro traces the drawing onto a sheet of semi-transparent vellum, as you see here with this female red-winged blackbird. After the sketch is transferred to the vellum, Pedro colors the surface. What that does is seal the graphite lines between paint and paper. Then he flips the sheet over so he can add shading and find a tail using colored pencils. The graphite lines of the sketch that show through serve as a sort of bird map. This process also preserves some of the initial fresh look of the pencil sketches. When each bird is finished, Pedro scans the painting into a computer where he keeps the overall poster layout. With the mouse, he places each element of the poster exactly where he wants it on the background. This poster will help people identify these birds, their nests, and their eggs so they can report what they see to NestWatch. In this way, bird watchers provide vital information to scientists studying nesting bird biology. Though Pedro earned a degree in geology in his native Portugal, he turned to science illustration under the guiding hand of a much-admired professor named Pedro Salgado. He followed his mentor to the University of California at Santa Cruz, and from there came to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology for an internship. He is modest about his skill. Uh, well, I don't really think that this is art. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, no, this is illustration. Uh, I would call this uh, like a joint work. An, an art is probably like something a bit more solo. Individual. Yeah. yeah. However you choose to define the work, the final Nest Watch poster will be a scientifically accurate portrait of nesting birds and a work of art. For Nest Watch, I'm Pat Leonard at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology.